Yes. But what is new is the increasing volatility. Some people are frightened of it. Culture, and I think most people are excited about it. And we do live in exciting times. One of the exciting things about WTT is knowing what's going to happen when Jeffrey Kent is with him. Uh, Jeffrey Kent, one of the founders and uh, one of the past chairman of the WTTC, has become personally conducted all around the world for I know is his guest. I'm going to let Jeffrey introduce the guest himself, Jeffrey Kent. Uh, thank you very, thank you very much, Nick. Um, we're going to have a really uh, ask Jeffrey Katzenberg, who's an old friend of mine, traveling friend. He's a legend in the industry. He has done some amazing, I think, 28 animated uh, uh, pictures. He has been nominated for nine Academy Awards. He's had two wins. So I would like to clip on Jeffrey, and then he'll come up. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. I really need to see this. Dad. Son. Here we go! God, did you see that? What hi? Hi! Surprise, freaks! That was my fist. Really? Welcome, Jeffrey. Well, we've done, I think we've been traveling like 20 years together, which is... <laughs> very. And uh, we've, I think we've been, we're working on onto every single corner. And um, going back, say, a long, long time, I remember in Africa that we were just down there the other day, we were driving through the Maasai Mara, and some warthogs came running out in front of us, intellectual on the spot, he said, um, turned around and said, they're called Pumbas now, and he turned it. So why don't I, why don't I switch over to Lion King, because really, you know, when we're talking about travel and tourism, I think Lion King really brought uh, safaris alive to how he fantasized it, what he thought about it, how he executed it, etc. Well, one of uh, my travels around the world is uh, inspiration. Um, you know, inspiration every day, um, you know, you just, you actually have to have your eyes and your ears. A story that came out of my travels from, from Africa, there was actually a story I wanted to tell, but to set it in, uh, you remember we visited Shangdu about a decade, visited the pandas, and... Uh, we chugged a panda. We, we actually they held, a, me more than we you, held, those, held those little pandas in our hands and, you know, love, in love with that panda and wanted to celebrate it. And um, Madagascar, you know, our travels to Madagascar yeah. and uh, just this amazing... World. You know, there really have been um, sort of three things that have... Uh, really driven me and today has been just a, a real curiosity, a, a, a wanting to see the world, a love and, and uh, a true, true, deep, uh, explore it and understand it and get as close to it as I possibly can. Um, second is, is uh, you know, just the pure joy of it and uh, I'm sure you'll tease me a little bit about our travels together. About that in a minute. And the third is, is that I've used travel as a way to uh, entertain and reward uh, business with and you know we're running around the world and promoting our movies and we find ourselves in different parts of that sort of thing where we have treats along the way where we find a day or two in between our stops and go do in their own uh, uh, by their own choice or their own lives in this and uh, I have to do a, a really stupid thing which is I have a I had some um, I don't know a whole series of photos from those various travel, which are with talent, uh, uh, you know, from, from different things in it. And so we just put it on a little loop, and they'll put it behind us, and, the, and no one in this audience is going to bother looking at you and me for the rest of this, but some of our travels. I mean, I, I remember one thing, you know, Jeffrey does bring these things on me, and he said, okay, I remember we had uh, 
Jerry Seinfeld. We can't land here. And so we asked him why he said, well, he ran away from that kibbutz when he was a young guy. When he was 16 years old. <laughs> and, and the best way of traveling, by the way, it starts like at 5 a.m., away till about midnight, if you're lucky. So that's quite a long, we get a lot done in one weekend, well, and part of Jordan, and all over the place. Back in, in Jerusalem, and there was this really bedraggled figure in the bottom of the elevator. I think I'd said goodnight to you, and over his head, I said, are you okay? <laughs> He said, that was really crazy. So tell me, how do they, they come back after these trips, Jeffrey? Well, they love it. They're in, <laughs> believe it or not, about making a movie is you then have to go out and market and sell it. And we do these pretty grueling, you know, 12 country in the weekends while we're, you know, we finish one night, you know, we finished with Hugh Jackman in Madrid on in Berlin until Monday morning. So as you know, as a, and did a wonderful 48 hours and he had his children with him and you know, it's a trip to this day, and that had to be. I never see him, I never see his wife, in which they have these. Uh, so it's actually ended up being incredibly valuable, frankly, for business. So tell me, do you think of the idea first, or do you have the, you're on location, and that gives you the idea? Or do you say, wow? Pictures you'll see here is, is that we send our uh, filmmakers uh, on these uh, research trips to see what the real world looks like. Because remember, everything we do in animation, and uh, so inspiration can come from many, many, many different places. And so their third picture, we've always sent them here to China to find things that they could integrate into their story. You know, a verisimilitude of, of, of things that, um, you know, people... Um, and I think that has actually been, you know, was a, a, a part of watching an enormous success here uh, in China because it really understood, embraced, and integral uh, into the filmmaking. And has it been the one and number one spot in the animated feature films in China, Kung Fu yeah, Panda? Yeah, Kung Fu Panda is actually the most successful animated movie here. And Dudes actually last year is number two, and um, I, I think we have five of the top in tune with this market. To give you some idea of the hecticness of these trips, um, what really happens is Jeffrey plans them. He calls me up one day and said, we got six days and we want to do all of South America, and that includes each in between, go down, Patagonia, maybe go to Atacama to 13,000 foot cocktail, and so that's what we're faced with, and we live feel at the end of all those trips, Jeff. What, what? Well, I love it. I mean, I, I uh, <laughs> of friends is uh, Mark Burnett. He's a great television producer. He does uh, uh, survive uh, the voice, and, and uh, uh, he's another one of those guys always telling about his SAS days, so when he and Jeffrey travel, he's very, he's an extreme traveler, and so we, we get together, and about once every 18 months or so, we go on some just challenging trip. And the last one we did, which was last fall, uh, uh, we, we did all of South. Sleep is for when you finish the trip. We don't <laughs> believe in sleeping on the trip. And my thing is, is to see as much as I possibly can. I, I you know, I, I just, more you can take in, you know, just the more exciting it is. And how you, the office, you know, that's what's so incredible about the world that we live in today is, you know, bring a, you know, smartphone and an iPad and, you know, you can you can do anything about tourism today, you know the ability of people to, you know, I guess maybe I'm wrong. I don't like turning it off. The idea that you know you're going to go away somewhere and 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 I'd I'd rather try and just stay up on it every day. Coming back and looking at you know a week or ten days worth of business, I'd rather find an hour or two every night to deal with it. We we had many amusements landed in in Zambia. Do you remember? And uh, Jeffrey has this really quite smart the president of Zambia was there, and he had an old propeller silver thing, which getting off and walking around the BBJ. I said to Jeffrey, I think we've just lost our plane. But, uh, <laughs> let's, go, let's go on from that business travel, all right? You travel a huge amount. Nobody travels more than Jeffrey. I think he does 17 hours. What do you do? Probably, uh, you know, flying, you know, seven, eight hundred, eight hundred and fifty 850 hours a year now, probably more. I'm for the last two and a half years, um, you know, because it's a place of such incredible opportunity right now. Um, uh, we're building an animation studio uh, in Shanghai. Uh, we've uh, got a nighttime entertainment partnership with uh, Long Kwai Fan, uh, Alan Zeman in uh, the middle of uh, Shanghai. Uh, it's a, a, a development called Dream Center. We just, it's just a place of amazing, amazing opportunity, and, you know, personally on it um, is the only way. 
But it's amazing because I saw how that took place. You know, we're in one minute Chengdu, and then Theo's been going here every single month for two days, and you've created this animation studio as you've discussed, and your awesome works uh, Dream Parks. Dream, tell us about that. Well, we've been, you know, in itself now, so kill it at some point there. I think we've done, we've sort of looped through it enough. Um, the, um, uh, one of the things that characters enough stories uh, to actually create what we think would be a very singular, unique, new kind of theme park experience and a half or so, and we're just about ready to unveil it, but it's a uh, under roof, uh, about a million square feet, slightly bigger, um, uh, about a six-hour attractions that compares to about 38 or 39 for Disneyland, and it it can operate very immersive, unique, uh, I think, new way of looking at theme parks. And I, and I all day yesterday uh, touring here in Hainan, and I think this is certainly one of the places that you know one so. To, to extend the tourism business. And tell us how you keep fit when you do these incredible... Wow. You know, you sent me an email. We got in at like five in the morning. So one word back, sissy. <laughs> <laughs> but he, so well, tell us how you keep no, fit. No, but I just I think for all of you, you, you know, travel is a, uh, is a huge, huge part of our lives. And, you know, I, me, and so I, I, I don't get to take any credit whatsoever for them in it. It's something in my genetics, my DNA, which really fine on five hours sleep, so that's kind of unfair, a <laughs> day a week. And the second thing is, is that somehow or another I've been able to, to sort of get my clock on the world that I'm going, wherever I'm going as opposed to actually don't ever get jet lag, mm -hmm. which is kind of incredible. Now, I don't know whether anybody else ever tries these, which is, I actually don't eat in 14, 12, 14, 18 hours coming here in this, but I actually am religious about it. I don't, I don't eat at all on a plane, I don't drink. I go to the gym, and I just, somehow or another, mm -hmm. the calm has just worked incredibly well for me. Jeffrey, you've also done a great deal in philanthropy with two, and you were awarded the Jean Herschel Humanitarian Award, which is probably one of the most prestigious Academy Awards. Would you like to tell us what you do in philanthropy? Um, because it's well, from your heart, I know. Yeah, I, you know, I, I just think that, um, you know, among the most blessed in the world, and um, you know, we, we have so much and that there is a, well, I, here's the way I will explain it to you. When I was a young kid, one experience as a kid was a movie called Spartacus. And uh, I just thought it was an incredible movie and it had this great character, Spartacus, Kirk Douglas. Years later, he was making a movie for me when I was running Disney. And um, he was in the middle of on his, you know, he was 75 years old at the time, and, you know, and his, I, I wish down his lunch break he was actually taking a break. He was working with, and, and, uh, and I, I got to his trailer, and everybody left, and I said, what are those people doing? And he talked about the, the, a philanthropy project of theirs in which they were rebuilding every single square with no credit. Nobody ever knew about it. And he had done at the time like a hundred and some odd of the schools, and he's continued to do it to this day. And I said to him, I'm, you haven't learned how to live until you have learned how. Those words have resonated and stayed with me. And I don't know whether it's because Spartacus said those words to me. <laughs> I found in that an amazing truth. I, I have to say, to alive today, I think um, I lived in a house where, uh, in a home where there was great. Um, and uh, so I think it's something that I, I was around, but um, I, I to us in life, um, in which you know you actually think about the quality of ways in it. And so for me, you know, I I love my work. I truly, genuinely love my my work. I I and and if I could do it seven days a week, all the better for for me. But to that, um, you know, my family and they're important to me, but things for others um, has just made, you know, the rewards of life very special. And, you know, I travel with you everywhere, and I've always seen you have a great tenderness, whether it doesn't matter where we are, in the middle of Africa, or the people, and how they're doing, and that's why I know you look at tourism and how we've actually created jobs, how we've really transformed the world. And I think with your, let's say, with um, 
uh, your different animated. One other thing, you know, because I, I sit on, you know, it's quite boring. I've got to sit with Jeffrey for hours on end sometimes. The other day, I think we came from the southernmost tip of Chile all the way to LA. And he has some great um, sort of Jeffrey. And I mean, this is incredible what he's created, both his, the fantasies and what he's actually done. So why don't you tell us a little bit about your philosophy of success should do and how do we win in life, etc. Um, um, you know, uh, referencing is, is it something we've talked about many times before. A sort of a, uh, a sort of a, I guess an overriding that I, I do and, and, um, and I have tried to inspire it in the people that, frankly, other you know, people in my, in my life. And it's, it's kind of simple in, in, in this way, which is I, in everything that I do, and it, you, it, you know, I don't want you to think that you can actually succeed in that. Uh, the conscious thought about how can you do just a little bit better. So I talk often to our, you know, the most important thing about our movies is if we can exceed the expectation of then we will have blockbusters. And, and then I think about it down to the started, as most everybody does, you know, as a gopher, as a young kid, you know, uh, jobs, no matter how menial or how small or how big or how important the job was, a bit better than what I'm expected and what is expected of me. And I can tell you, if you do that, from a career standpoint, when I it, I guarantee you, you exceed expectations on some kind of a regular basis. You are, and if you think about that idea and you carry it <coughs> from your day, even as the CEO of a company, I want to try to exceed the expectations of our shareholders, of my board, most importantly of my customer general, which is, you know, friendship. Friendship is something that I find, when I think about it, I think many of us take that a bit. People who are important to me, I try to exceed their expectations. I can tell I hear from you before you've heard from me. <laughs> okay, well, that's not an accident. And the reason is, is you are actually, you know, I don't want to say fr infrequently, because from time to time, but you do know that there's no such thing as how you doing, what are you up to? What part of the world are you in? You know, what adventure are you in the middle of in it? Because you matter. And, and so I know you've never acknowledged or said this, but try to put a little bit more into this and that relationship than me. Now, I can actually take this even one step further in this. I've been in Hollywood. I've lived there my whole career. Um, I, I uh, nine years. Now, you know, it was my wife's birthday last week. Expectations. So, you know, and I actually have that thought. Okay, what are we going to do? What am I going to do to think special and not take it for granted? Um, and so, I get out here. I actually walk up here. And whether I can succeed at it or not, I actually have that moment in which I would love to be able to exceed the expectations here. And as I say, you don't always succeed at it, but the attempt is a valuable way to kind of look at day-to-day -day life, every part of it. It's wonderful and it's, and it's true. I mean, I do get these of the Amazon or I'm just diving in Galapagos or lost in the Serengeti and we have a little interchange and where are you? It always follows up. So, Jeffrey, what's next? You know, we've had Shrek. We think in India, perhaps? I showed Jeffrey many years ago tigers in, uh, in Rantham. Amazing, amazing trip uh, uh, through... Um, uh, many parts, you know, through India, through Rajasthan, uh, up to Varanasi, and I don't know if any of you have ever done this, but truly it is many places in the world that you can travel and see a, just a, in a totally different uh, a set of uh, and smells and values and everything about that world is just inspiring. And uh, I was telling Jeffrey just the other day, we are now actually doing a movie I hope that's going to the culture of India and many of these things that inspired us. We're doing a kind of loosely, loosely inspired by the Ramayana story, which is really one out of India in it. So um, it can come from, from pretty much any place. And many of them have come from our travels. And we've um, 
coming to the end. Sadly, I see this zero, zero, zero going on. But that means get off the stage, Jeffrey. Yeah, but, but th thank you so much for coming, Jeffrey. And you know, you've been an inspiring thing you do, philanthropy, business, friendship, your, your sheer, you love adventure, he never gives, and you come up with these amazing fantasies which I think have changed all of our lives. And thank you very much, Jeffrey, really. Thanks, Jeff.